In this video, we're going to be talking about uh, something that commonly gets kids confused when we talk about scientific method and scientific design. It's something called constants and controlled variables. Uh, now, these are not to be con confused with something called a controlled group, right? So remember, your control group is a group you don't do anything to. Okay. A controlled variable or a controlled constant is something that remains the same. Okay, so think of it like this. If I have my experiment, I always have two groups, at least two groups, right? So I have my, what's called my control group, and then I have my experimental group, right? So remember, it's kind of overkill here, but remember, we only want to make sure to change one thing between my experimental group and my control group. We're only changing one thing at a time. But everything else needs to remain the same. Those things that remain the same between those two groups, those are your constants or your controlled variables. Okay. So think of it like this. If you're going at constant speed, that means you're going the same speed, right? It means you're not changing. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at an example uh, here. Um, this is one of the examples we have, I think, in our note packet. Uh, one tank of goldfish is fed the normal amount of food once per day. A second tank is fed twice a day, and a third tank four times a day during a six-week study. The fish's week weight is recorded daily. All right, so for our variables, it's something we should already be comfortable at. What's changing here? All right, how often do fish are fed? All right, that's what I'm changing, my dependent variable here. Um, what I'm measuring is I'm measuring the, uh, the weight of the fish. Okay, so for here, on line C, that's what this video is about, our controlled variables or our constants is what do I want to keep the same between my tanks? Right, so I have I have my tank here that was fed um, my normal time of day, and I have all these tanks fed once a day, all these tanks that were fed multiple uh, times per day. Right, so if, if we're thinking about if I only want to change how often I feed them, I need to keep everything else the same. Right, so for this example, something that I might want to keep the same is I don't know um, how much water is in the tank, right? I should keep the same amount of gallons there, right? I should I should uh, feed them probably the same amount, right? Although I'm feeding them more often, I should feed them the same amount of food. Right, uh, if I am doing, uh, if I'm feeding fish, I shouldn't have tank one be a piranha and tank two be, uh, I don't know, a crocodile, right? So we wanna make sure to use uh, the same type of fish. All those are things that we need to think about uh, when we are doing our experiment. These are our constants, the things that have to remain the same between both your experimental group and your control group. Let's go ahead and just do one more example. All right, uh, again, here's another example from class homework or in our notes. You decide to clean the bathroom. You notice that the bathroom is covered in a strange clean green slime. You decide to get rid of the slime by adding lemonade juice. You spray half the shower with lemonade juice and the other half the shower with water. After three days of spraying equal amounts, three times a day, there is no change in the appearance of the slime on either side of the shower. Again, I'm just going to go ahead and do our variables here. Uh, what's changing is the type of spray. Right, I change whether it's water or it's lemonade. Uh, what am I measuring? My dependent variable, amount of slime. Yep. And here we go. Here's our control variable or our constants. Right, again. Here's my wonderful shower, I split in two. This side's gonna be water, this side's gonna be lemonade. The constant, what stays the same between each side here? Okay, things I probably wanna keep the same are how much spray. Right, I don't want, on my water side, I don't use a gallon while I use one ounce on the lemonade side, right? That wouldn't be fair. Right, I don't want to, um, I, want, I want to control how often I spray, so how often. Right, and even in this uh, example here, I actually tell you, it says equal amount three times a day, right? So I was three times a day, how much spray is used? Um, you know, something that's not said in here is I wanna make sure that if I scrub one side, I wanna scrub the other, right? All those other variables need to kept, be kept constant, so that way we're only changing which spray we're using. 